Hi, how you doing? Justin here. In this lesson today, I'm going to be talking about how to tune your guitar using the fifth fret method. Very, very common method for tuning the guitar. Little bit flawed, so I'm going to talk about that first. Now, with the fifth fret method, uh, the fifth fret of the thickest string is the same note as the open fifth string. And the, the fifth fret of the fifth string is the same as the open fourth string. And so on. For the second string, you have to go back to the fourth fret. And then it's back to the fifth fret again. I'm going to do a close up of that in a sec. But as you probably noticed, all that was based off the thickest string. So, what this method is best for is when you're away from anything else. You don't, you're not trying to play with somebody else. If you're, if you're trying to jam with someone else, you need to be in tune with them. So you need to say, hey man, give me an E so I can tune up. Or you ask them to give you every note of your guitar and you tune up each string individually. But if you're by yourself, I don't know, you've taken your guitar to the beach, it's been in the sun all day, and it's kind of gone out of tune. Uh, actually, it's not a good idea to leave your guitar in the sun all day, but let's say it's been uh, in the car, uh, and it hasn't been that hot to warp your instrument, <laughs> but it's got out of tune. Uh, and you need to get your guitar in tune. This is where the fifth fret method is great, because let's assume you don't have a tuner, you don't have another instrument to, to tune it to, but you want to get it in tune so you can play it. Right? That's, that's really the, the best use of this fifth fret method. It's not the, really the best one, really. There's some others. The best one is getting yourself a tuner. You know? And especially these days, you can get a tuner app for your, uh, for your phone. You know, that's a really good idea. Uh, that way you've got it with you all the time. But anyway, I digress. So the thing that you need is to have your thicker string roughly in tune. Now, if you can get it roughly in tune just by what it feels like, that's kind of fine but that'll only be really for more experienced players. If the, the string is too, far, too high or too low, you're going to tune your whole guitar too high or too low, which if you're playing by yourself and you're just having a bit of a muck around on the, you know, the barbecue with your mates or whatever, it doesn't really matter. If it's extremely too high or too low, all the strings are going to be too sloppy and it'll sound weird, or too high, and by tuning them too high, you might snap some. Okay, so again, Getting a tuner is a really, really good idea. But if you haven't got a tuner and you need to tune up, here's what you've got to do. Now, I'm going to assume that this thicker string is in tune, and now I'm going to just tune the rest of them all a little bit wonky, right? So let's just see what happens. So now I would start by putting my fifth fret on the thicker string and then listening to what the sound is of the next string. If you can, sing them. It's going down. And we want to tune it up. So it sounds the same as that note. If I'd gone too high, Now, a good little tip for you, you should always tune up. So even though I went from too high back down, I would still go tune it back up. If you can get into it, learning to sing to tune to is a pretty good idea, okay? Now, it's, a, it's not a particularly accurate method, this, and it's got one big problem, which uh, actually, we'll get to that later. So that was the fifth fret. Now we're going to do the next string. So now we're tuning the fourth string. So again, we put our finger in the fifth fret of the fifth string. And then we're tuning the fourth string. This is too high. Okay, now let's keep going. So the fifth fret again, fifth fret of the fourth string, and the open third string. Okay, now to tune the second string, you have to move back to the fourth fret of the third string. Okay, it's the only, it's, so it's fifth fret, fifth fret, fifth fret, fourth fret. Okay, and then back to the fifth fret for the last string. Now, 
The problem with this tuning method is that it's all based off of the thicker string and we've gradually worked our way up. So if we're a little bit out on one, a little bit out on the next, and a little bit out on the next, we can find that the low E and the thin E can be pretty far out of tune. Actually, it wasn't too bad, okay? So you can always check those two outside strings. Uh, we're going to look at harmonics in another lesson, but there's a way of doing a harmonic on the thicker string increases the pitch that you can tune that thinner string to. But one of the things that you want to learn if you're going to get into this method is to kind of uh, tune it by ear a little bit afterwards. So we've done the rough tune, now let's try an E chord. Just the B need a little bit of a raise in there. Actually, that's pretty good. It, it doesn't normally quite go so well as that, so to tell the truth. So. That's, a, that's a, a really, really useful tuning technique that you use when you haven't got a tuner and you haven't got anything to reference from. Um, if you've done it a bit, once you've practiced it, like everything else, it takes practice to get good at using this technique, uh, then you'll find that maybe uh, if, if one of the middle strings feels right, you might tune to that, kind of go backwards. So that one's in tune, so you put your finger there and then tune the fourth string. It's a bit harder because you have to keep mucking around by putting your finger on. But, it's still a, a, a useful technique to learn. Probably more useful is harmonics, learning to tune using harmonics, which I'm going to be doing in the next lesson in this series. But, uh, you know, as, as always, I'm going to recommend for you getting a tuner. Getting a tuner is a great way to do it, you know, like I mentioned before, using an app, because everyone carries their phone all the time. So using a, uh, an iPhone app or, you know, your Android app or whatever is, uh, I reckon, the best, you know, the best tuner is the one that you've got with you, like the camera saying. I uh, hope that helps you get your guitar in tune, and I'll see you for plenty more lessons and stuff very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.